So you may be thinking, well, I've already seen this video. Well, no, you haven't. This is that new, it does look the same, except for one little thing over here on the corner. ZB Dongle E, or Dongle E, I don't know however you want to say it. There's some changes to it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, is it for the better, the worse? Depends on who you talk to. It looks the same. And if you haven't been around the channel, this is probably one of my favorite, well, the previous model was one of my favorite USB Zigbee coordinators we use with like Zigbee to MQTT or Home Assistant or whatever it may be. The reason why I really liked that module is because it had that CC2652 chipset. And you may be saying, well, it's a lot of numbers and digits and things and letters. And well, just think of it's the Texas Instruments they make this chipset that it really worked well with Zigbee to MQTT and Home Assistant so that allowed users to go back and forth if they didn't like Zigbee to MQTT and they liked ZHA better they could do whatever they wanted to do and it really made it kind of universal and it worked great on both systems. Now a couple of years ago the whole thing with the whole chip shortage and stuff we couldn't get those that much so a lot of companies went to, well, you can even see IT did this Zigbee 3.0 dongle. And it's based on that EFR, which is Sci Labs. So it's kind of the competitor of the whole Zigbee deal. And it's, they call it the MG21 chip. And, well, even Home Assistant is making their own little EFR based chipset radio, if you want to call it that, that's probably going to be, I believe they're talking about using it for thread or, or as you may know as matter. And it, that's not with this whole video because that's a whole rabbit hole of going down, of dealing with the whole thread matter, where's Zigbee going to go, etc. all there. So I've been using this little USB dongle here really as just a router in my house to make the mesh of Zigbee better because I prefer that CC2652. But IT says, you know, there's a chip shortage. Again, well, is it because they changed the Sonoff Zigbee bridge, made a pro, the CC2652? Well, I was going to cover that one a whole lot more than I did, but... Then they said there's a chip shortage on it. And well, probably don't be around anymore. It's going to switch back. They've switched this back. Now, we'll show you. It's funny how things go full circle. So I think this one's a little bit shorter. I'm, across the room, I have a production one of this going, uh, actually using my Zigbee to MQTT network and I like to prefer to use that because it's decoupled from Home Assistant and so if I got a downgrade Home Assistant or I have an issue with Home Assistant I don't have to worry about hey am I going to have to run around the house and pair you know 40 50 Zigbee devices again and some of them are out in the yard so I to keep it decoupled and that way I it has its own little deal and does its own thing in Zigbee to MQTT and that's one of the advantages I like about it. And you can see they've totally changed this up. So, but the support for that EFR Scilabs chipset is, is okay in Zigbee to MQTT. I would call it beta, if maybe not if alpha. So I probably don't recommend to use it. If you're going to use the EFR MG or whatever Scilabs chipset, just stick to ZHA. Unfortunately, it's just not a thing with Zigbee to MQTT that really you should go and deal with. I want to show you, it's funny how things go full circle. If you look, we can get the right angle and not be upside down. Or maybe they put it upside down. You'll notice MG21. Well, this is their dongle from 2020 and I want to show you that chip MG21 no it's not Mad Dog 2020 I keep wanting to say that for some odd reason probably show my age there if you know kind of what Mad Dog 2020 is that's a whole different thing and not for the kids either right do they even make that anymore 
don't know. So I figure now this is gonna should be more of a plug and play type deal where you don't have to do any type of firmware upgrades at right now now i believe they are talking about there'll be some probably firmware upgrades for these for doing the dual thing where you run zigbee and thread matter whatever you want to call it um whatever does it really matter and that could be down the road maybe we'll cover that again so i figured I would just take this adapter and we're going to try it straight in, which it should be fine. I mean, that's the same chip, right? It might have a little different software, at least one would hope. So one thing I do like that Sonoff has done and they continue to do with their little Zigbee adapters. And the whole dongle word does drive some people nuts. I do get that. But one thing I do like what they've done is they've continued to use the little external antennas and you may be saying well that's gonna give you know what's the best range that's better range well really for the most part pcb antennas kind of suck and when you're trying to have the coordinator listen for and kind of be the end all be all of things i want a good antenna and even i recommend and many others do is getting this away from the machine itself and putting it on a USB extension cord because, you know, whether it be a Pi or server or whatever, there's just a lot of noise. So you can get it away six foot, a little USB extension cord, and it will work a lot better. And I know the Home Assistant one, I didn't see, they didn't have that they're coming out with. I saw the pictures, I think on Twitter or their blog. They didn't have an antenna, unfortunately. And I just, that's just the old RF person in me. I kind of like a, some good set of ears on a radio. So let me plug this into my little developer home, home assistant box and we'll see if we can get into home assistant. So we got the device plugged into our home assistant box and ready to go. We're going to add it to ZHA. And sure enough, there it is. Sonoff Zigbee dongle plus V2. There's even my serial number. Claim to warranty. Go now. All right. Silicon Labs, Ember Znet. We'll finish. And I need to go get my device I wanted to pair up. Oh, right here. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll find out. It is that third reality Zigbee temperature sensor. We'll see if it pairs up. It may not. We got it showing the little blinking cloud. And we'll see if it will pair up. Now it may not have, this is a very new device, so it may not have all the temperature and humidity, but we'll see. They may have to do one of those quirks, I think it is, to get this one to work right. And Travis will fast forward the video for you. Nada. Take two. I'm gonna try with the Philips Hue maybe? Philips Hue motion sensor. I know this works with ZHA. I finally got an interview going. So apparently it may not like that third reality device there, which is fine. It is a new device. There's one other I wanted to try, give it a shot before we call this a day. So the other device I wanted to try is some Yolax, not that kind of lax some Yolax shades, and I wanted to see if these worked with ZHA. They're pretty nice little shades, and they do have a Zigbee motor built right into you know, the roller shades, and it does have a little RF remote, but we'll see how it pairs up, and I may have to undo them so I don't get them too tangled. And look at this, guys, gals, that's USB-C. Yep. Let's go to the coordinator. We'll add devices and put this in pairing mode. Yuk smart. That thing paired up quick. Let's just go ahead and add it to dashboard, right? I don't want to get them all bound up. Now they got a big crease in it. Maybe the sun will eventually pull it out. I hope. If not, 
They're damaged, I guess, right? So very cool. Zigbee adapter works. I had some oddness with my blinds, but that's a whole nother ordeal. Nothing to do with the coordinator. So you may be asking, what is this for? Should I get one? Should I pick one up? Or, well, if you're looking to do Zigbee to MQTT, nope, nada. If it says that E dongle or dongle E or whatever, dongle E, I know it sounds very weird. Don't get that particular one. Definitely stick with a CC2652 and probably even some future series of that. Definitely check out the Zigbee to MQTT adapters. They have them all listed like what they kind of recommend. I'll leave that link down below. And there's a bunch of different vendors that are making those still. So the sky isn't really falling of anything. I mean, just one vendor has changed chips and hey, potentially this might be even a good thing for some that are wanting to also run, you know, say do this and do jump into the whole thread matter thing and actually have an antenna. You've got this little chipset ready to go and kind of just use that if you want to do and don't want to do Zigbee to MQTT. But there's so many unknowns of how what's matter is going to happen and we're going to have incompatibilities or we may even be running two networks, a Zigbee network and then the Thread Matter network. Hell, I don't know. No one really knows. There's just so much is new at this point at the time of the recording of this video. So be careful if you are picking up a Sonoff USB dongle, make sure and check which version you get because there's some massive differences. So I do appreciate Sono for letting us check out this new little dongle USB adapter and maybe potentially we'll show something with those blinds and once I get them installed. So they are pretty cool looking. So if you got any other comments and questions or whatever, shoot me a comment down below and jump in Discord. We can chit chat, argue, whatever it may be. Yep. Until next time, press all them buttons. Y'all let me hanging, bro. Press all them buttons. And try again. Because you start with because here in your line because it's cool and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. Press all them buttons. Because it's cool and stuff. Press all them buttons. Because it's cool and stuff. We do an explosion. Oh, you do an explosion in it? Yeah. Like, okay. And it like it explodes in us, and then it, it <clears throat> and then we disappear. Wait. Press all them. Yeah, hit me right with. Press all them buttons. Because it's cool and stuff.